boiling up some fresh carrots. Because I can't get them to eat them raw just yet. I'm going to get them used to the taste of them. These aren't canned carrots. These are fresh that I cut up. And there's more. We're going to cook them a whole couple days worth here. Watch the carrots. We'll see if these two will eat a couple of raw carrots. If any of them will, it's these two. Especially that little bagel there, Miss Tellers. She eats some weird stuff. You guys want a snack? I got carrots. Tilly. You guys want a snack? Carrot. That's a bacon treat. You want a bacon treat? There's a bacon treat. You're, you ate out of garbage for years. And you don't want this carrot? Get your carrot. They, say, they look funny. We don't know what those are. Eat your carrots. It's the same thing, Tilly. Yeah. But it tastes better because it, it was Millie's. Eat your carrots. No, you don't want no part of it. Because you know why? Because you guys are spoiled. But that them days are over. You'll still be spoiled, but you're going to be eating better spoiled stuff. I knew Tilly would be up for it. She's enjoying it. Crunching on it. Millie just, she just doesn't want to be bothered right now. Perfect weather. Folks, 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 I was just kidding when I said that somebody could buy me an El Camino. I was just kidding. <laughs> I am just speechless because one just pulled into the driveway and somebody gave it to me. Oh my God, check it out. A 67 El Camino. I was like, I didn't order nothing. What is this? I didn't know my dream car was coming up the road. Thanks, Peter. Hey, go check out Peter's channel at Old Man King Homestead. Link in the description. Check it out. Yeah, I don't, I'm not going to open it. Or should I open it? What should we do? Should we put it up here? Let's put it up here on the shelf. Yeah, right there, man. All right, we now have a doodad. All right, we got chicken breasts there. We got some ground turkey there. And over here, some 73% lean ground beef. And we're gonna mix it all together in this electric skillet. And make the dog supper. That way, uh, that's about, I'm gonna make about two days worth. So that way it'll have time to cool down. I'm going to add the carrots and also found some frozen green beans we'll throw in there. None of this has salt or spices. So they're going to like it. I'll come back when I get a little more done. Alright, we got everything in there. We'll let this cook for a while. We'll kind of just chopped up a little more. We got chicken. We got turkey. We got ground beef. 73% lean. We got lean. I think 85% lean turkey. Chicken breast. We got green beans, carrots. And then when I go to serve it, I'm gonna give them all a raw egg on top. And you gotta remember, I got five dogs, so this ain't gonna be but. I'll be lucky to get two meals out of this. This may just be one. But I'm going to cook for my dogs every day. And I'm probably going to buy one of them big Dutch oven things. But I want them to have fresh. If they like it. Yeah, they do. Okay, I'm coming. You're so demanding. You're so demanding. I cut it in half the way you like it. She has to eat soft milk bones now. Yeah, you can't. You want your window open? Because I'm going to take a nap. Oh, you dropped one. I'm going to go ahead and see your brother. 
I hear rumor he's got a new story. I am dying to hear this one. Okay, you eat your milk bone. Two days, you get major surgery. Somebody want a bacon treat? You know he does. Let me tell you something, when these bacons and stuff are done, I'm gonna make your own treats. Okay, I'm gonna make your treats. Listen, boy. I know you're better now, but I heard you've been telling a new story. Yeah? Is that true? I heard what you told Lily. He's been saying he had an NDE, a near-death experience, and he went up to heaven and met up with Wally, Lulu, Lucy, and Libby. And he started barking orders. Is this what he told you, uh, Lily? That he started barking orders about how to, because they've been working on our yard up there. And brother went up and got in an argument with Wally over how the yard's being handled. You can't do that because you didn't die. He's in charge. He got there first. And I'm sure our yard will be nice when we get there. Yeah, but was it good to see everybody in your NDE that you had? Well, did you, how come you're not very talkative? I don't really want you barking. But you're up and about. He was barking this morning. Yeah, you're not over this. Yeah. He really perked up about an hour after I gave him his medication last night. He perked up and man, he was giving her an ear bath and wanted her to play and then I came in because I couldn't I thought I heard him but I didn't believe it and it was you know just the day before he was he, he was the worst I seen him but he's up and about now he's just gonna be okay ain't your boy you want me to hang out in here with you guys for a while yeah we gotta get the brush on you and that one you're looking guilty of something. You guys are having turkey tonight. Ground beef. Chicken breast. I know. What else? Green beans. Carrots. Cooked in bacon grease and hamburger grease. A lot of grease. There really wasn't much grease because it's lean. Well, there was. But there ain't. Boy. I always talk to him like he can hear me. Uh, he can't hear a word I'm saying. But I think he reads lips. You read lips. Yeah. Telling stories already. You was in bad shape for a whole week. More than a week. Now you're coming out of it. Your eyes are brighter. Because your eyes look terrible. Now look at you. Yeah. But you're still on medication. You're, you're done with two of your medicines. Yeah. Sister's licking her foot. We're going to do the carnivore. Well, they're not exactly carnivore. We'll call them keto. They're doing carrots, green beans. I was going to get them some broccoli. We'll ease them into that. They seem to like the carrots and green beans, so we'll stay with that for a while. And mix in some turkey. They can pretty much have any meat. Uh, what else did I put in there? I don't know. But we'll, we'll switch it up each week. Now, generally when I bought their canned food, because that stuff has skyrocketed in the last, ever since 2020, uh, it's 45 bucks every single week. I, I usually stop at Walmart when I bought their canned good, their canned food. I'd go to Walmart, get their cans, get roosters dinners, which I don't have to buy roosters dinners anymore because she likes what I'm cooking better. And their milk bones, their treats, all that. It would be about 50 bucks, 45, 50 bucks. And then I would go to Aldi's and the things I bought for me would be about 110 to about $130. Uh, 
So today, <coughs> I just went to Aldi's and got their stuff and my stuff, stuff to cook their meals, and it was $140, so I'm actually saving money. And I didn't get everything that I, you know, I have, I have butter already in the freezer and stuff. I, there's a lot of stuff I didn't need to buy, but I bought my steaks and ground meat and things like that, pork chops, but... It isn't going to cost me any more, and it's so much better for them. And they devour it. Now, I still am putting a little bit of dry. They would get about, uh, I don't know, a cup and a half of dry usually in their bowl. So I've cut that in half. We'll wean them off of that because i gotta, I got to fill it with something, man. It cost me a fortune. But we'll, we'll figure it out. And they've been on stuff that I've been cooking for them for this will be the fourth day in a row and they don't they don't act hungry and most of it's meat so they shouldn't they're basically on the same uh, eating the same things I'm eating minus the vegetables all right just tidbits and here and there today guys I, I just got back I had to go buy shoes uh, I had to go to Aldi's. I had, what else did I do? I had to do a few. Oh, I got a haircut. Yeah, I got a haircut. Went to all these shoes. I usually buy shoes here in town. And because they got Skechers. And, but they haven't stocked the shelves in like three or four months. So they don't have my size. All they got is oddball little kid sizes. So they ain't going to get my business. So I found a Skechers store in Fort Smith. Man, it's huge. And it's cheaper. And it was like, buy one, get one half price. I, I just got one pair. I, I, I didn't want to waste the money on the extras. But they always have that sale. But I got me a new pair of shoes. Because I go to the foot doctor Friday. You got to have new shoes if you go to the foot doctor. All right, Waldo. I'm going to go out here and take a nap. Because my stomach hurts for some reason. It ain't my stomach. I went to get out of my truck to check the mail and pulled a muscle in my side. And oh my God, does it hurt. So I got to go get in my recliner for a while and take a nap probably. Because I, I, I got up pretty early this morning. So we're going to get this up. So I've got my video for the day. And we'll probably try to get out and do something better to, uh, tomorrow. Now, like Friday, I'll probably take you guys with me, going to a scenic area. Uh, then Rooster, she's going to the doctor. Thursday, I'm going to be a nervous wreck, but she'll be fine. But still, you know, anytime they, gonna use, they, they have to use anesthesia, you worry, because there's always a chance something could go wrong. I couldn't take that. Boy, that'd be rough. Bad enough we had to deal with you. With you being sick, but I don't want to have to deal with Rooster. Anything going wrong with Rooster. So, boy, I, if I could express my feeling when I walked in and seen him acting like that last night, I was total. that was totally unexpected. Unexpected. I did not think he would bounce back like that. And the day before that, I, I didn't even think he was going to make it. But he's fine now. His breathing is a whole lot better. It's pretty much back to normal. He coughs every once in a while. That's probably to be expected. But he's he's going to be fine. Ain't you, boy? Because this channel would suck without you. Lily doesn't... She doesn't tell no lies. Now all she wants to do is sleep and lay on that bed and smile. And he slept in the bed all night last night. He was in there. Yeah, they they like the way the sides are where they can put their heads like that. That's good for their necks too. But he likes the floor. He's always liked the floor. All right, from the dog apartment or from the dog penthouse because we got the luxury beds in that now. Happy trails. Excuse me. Those are my pillows, my blanket, my recliner. Yours is over there, and I even bought you a new blanket. You want to tell me what's going on? 
why you think you got special treatment? That's my chair, and I want to take a nap. What are you doing, blocking me? They better not take your front, front snaggle teeth out. Wouldn't even look like you. Okay, say goodbye to them people. Tell them thank you for praying for Brother Waldo. Thank you! You got two seconds. I'm gonna go edit this video and then you need to be out. You hear me? think I've ever had dog food that I could take a bite out of and like it but that's pretty that's human food actually it looks good making y'all hungry ain't it mm -hmm.